I want to demonstrate a revolutionary yet simple concept in a debris separator where the debris is removed from airflow entering the separator in about one tenth of a second. For my prototype I'm using an 18 and a half inch diameter Weber grill where the modified top is the separator and the bottom is the receptacle. The receptacle could just as well have been a trash can or a bucket. The vacuum source is a six horsepower 16 gallon shop vac with a two and a half inch diameter hose. The vacuum is rated at 180 cubic feet per minute and generates an airflow speed of about 60 miles per hour. The vacuum has been cleaned inside and has a new filter. To demonstrate the effectiveness of the separator I tried to think of things that would be the most difficult to remove from the 60 mile an hour airflow. I came up with dandelions and down feathers. So here's a couple of dandelions and also some down feathers that were donated by my parrot, Hook. As you can see, the receptacle of the debris separator has been cleaned. And as previously mentioned, the vacuum is also clean and has a new filter. Now placing the separator back on the receptacle, turning on the vacuum, You can see how light the down feathers are. They're already moving. There go the dandelions. And now the rest of the down feathers. We're done, so let's turn off the vacuum. Notice that it wasn't necessary to leave the vacuum on for any amount of time to clear the separator of debris. This is because the separator doesn't rely on gravity to remove the debris, but instead uses centripetal forces that instantly remove the debris and discharge it into the receptacle. Let's open it up and let's see what we've collected. Right away we see several down feathers. And as I zoom in we also notice many dandelion florets. All right, let's take a look in the, in the vacuum. Nothing got past the separator. Let's check the filter. No evidence of anything on the filter. It's as clean as the day it was made. Now that we've seen what the separator can do with flowers and feathers, let's try it on a couple of more likely materials. On the left is some very fine sawdust from the local Home Depot's cutoff saw. And on the right are some aspen wood shavings I got from PetSmart. Turning on the vacuum.
Okay, let's see what we have in the receptacle. It's no surprise to see collected debris here. Many collectors can do this. The difference is that while others claim to collect up to 99.99% of the debris that enters, I believe this separator collects more than 99.9999%. The real proof of the effectiveness of this separator will be here in the vacuum. So let's take a look. It appears completely empty except maybe for a very fine film of dust on the interior surfaces. Now let's check the filter. It looks incredibly clean. There are no traces of sawdust or shavings anywhere.